Well, hot on the heels of the success of Dancing with the Stars, CTV's launching a new program, Skating with the Stars, that will take to the air in just over, uh, just under a month, rather. Many Vancouver Islanders already have their eyes glued to the ice watching Battle of the Blades. That's the program that teams up hockey players and figure skaters. And Russ Cortnell, the island hockey star who grew up in Duncan, was voted off in the very first round. But as A News reporter Mary Beth Burton shows us, he's being called back for a second skate. It takes years of practice and dedication to become a figure skating star. That may be why watching former hockey players attempt pairs figure skating with a pro after just a few weeks of practice has become a television hit. Last night, Battle of the Blades changed the rules. Next week will be second chance Sunday. Meaning the four pairs already voted off, including Victoria's own Russ Cortnell, would get another chance to get back in the competition. We found Russ training hard in Toronto today. We've known for a couple weeks and we've uh, had to keep it a secret, but we've both been preparing and we've been really excited about it. Even Russ's brother and fellow NHLer Jeff Cortnell was surprised by the announcement. I think it's great. Hopefully, uh, he told me he was working on a Christmas show, but uh, obviously they've been practicing. and hopefully he'll be better than he was the first time around. Russ and his partner, Christine Huff Sweeney, or Tuffy as she's known, were the very first team voted off. I was disappointed. I really wanted to skate with Tuffy longer and, and have a chance to win the uh, 100000 for our charity. Tuffy has Victoria ties too. She was coached by the head of the Oak Bay Figure Skating Club. I took her to her first international competition in The Hague in Holland when she was 14. Tuffy tells us what to expect on Sunday. We're going to do, um, you, I put a spell on you by CCR. And um, I don't know, I think you're going to get to see Russ's personality. It, it's kind of fun for us. What Russ needs to make it next weekend is phone-in fans. I guess I'm going to need a lot more support from Vancouver Island and British Columbia. The real winner could be the Archie Cortnell Center. Losers on Battle of the Blades get $25,000 for their charity, but the winner gets $100,000. Russ could be bringing $100,000 home to help psychiatric patients on Vancouver Island. The young skaters say it's all good exposure for the sport they love. One of them did an axle. That was really <laughs> impressive. Like, techni yeah, technically it wasn't really great but like it was really cool that he tried it their coach understands why figure skating has become so popular skating's like a soap opera and we used to call it as the blade turns you know so it, it it's got sport it's got glitz it's got drama it's got a little bit of sex there's more skating to come just as battle of the blades wraps up ctv launches skating with the stars on november 22nd where celebrities are matched with world-class figure skaters in oak bay mary beth burton a news